Bitcoin just had its first major correction and the chart is telling us something. Stay tuned to know more. So hi guys, welcome back to another Gab's cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And today we're going to talk more about the Bitcoin correction. So recently we just had our first Bitcoin correction and this correction just, just flashed a signal that we have all been waiting for. And this signal is something that dapat inaabangan natin every four years. And by four years, this means it's a big opportunity for us, especially sa ating retail buyers, dahil ito yung magiging biggest chance natin para makapag-accumulate more and more Bitcoin. So let's understand first what happened with the current cycle. Right now, we just had our first major correction. And as I've been telling you for the previous days, a correction is very normal sa market cycle. We just had our first correction in here. And if you're going to look back in time, nagkaroon din tayo ng corrections that lasted around 6 to 12 weeks. So we have here a 6-week correction. And then lastly, for the 2014 cycle, we had a major 12 weeks correction. So right now, we are experiencing our second week pa lang. So this is our second week of the correction. And hopefully, we'll see what the Bitcoin price will do in the following days. But tingnan nyo to guys. This is something that we have been noticing within the charts. Generally speaking, pag nagkaroon ng malaking correction, this gives us a signal on where are we in the current market cycle. If titingnan mo, meron tayong Bitcoin logarithmic growth curves na pinapakita ko na ilang beses sa ating channel and ito yung napapakita kung asa na ba tayo sa ating market cycle. At kung titingnan mo, every market cycle has its own halfway point. So let's try to look first at the 2014 halfway point. Our halfway point was around this April 13 mark. April to March. If you'll go back in time, between March and April was the halfway point for the 2014 market cycle. We also have another halfway point dito sa 2017 cycle. And kung titingnan natin ngayon, ang ating 2021 cycle, andun na rin tayo sa ating halfway point. So generally speaking, when we are going to have a correction, it signifies that we are at our halfway point sa market cycle. The halfway point is the first thing na pinapakita na itong chart. Pero hindi dun lang yung nagtatapos. Meron pa isa guys. If gagawa tayo ng line, kuha tayo ng horizontal ray, at ilalagay natin sa top ng candle, ang top ng candle na to ay nagbibigay ng signal na itong highest point ng first peak natin would indicate the next market cycle bottom. Hindi kinaniniwala. Bigyan natin isa pang example. At tingnan natin yung 2017 market cycle. Ang 2017 market cycle, nag-peak tayo at around this area. For the first peak and as you can see we're forming a trend na ang ating next market cycle bottom is roughly the same with this area so what is this telling us since we just had our first major correction it is our first peak so we can say ng ating next market cycle bottom would fall around the 60,000 us dollar mark area so meaning in the next four years or in the next two years, if ever na mag market cycle bottom tayo, ang ating lowest point na pwede natin makita is around 60,000 US dollars. In that case, what's happening right now, yung ating dip na dito, this is actually one of your last chance to buy Bitcoin at the cheapest price before it goes up to its parabolic move. So are we going to pump na ba ngayon? For me, hindi pa. Sa totoo lang, tingin ko, magkikonsolidate pa siya dito ng ilang weeks. Just like what happened sa mga previous cycles. Itong cycle na to, it took us around 6 weeks bago mag... Actually, 8 weeks bago tayo mag-pump ulit. Same with 2017. 2017 took us around... Yeah, halos 26 weeks pala siya all in all. So, di siya kagad pump So, there's still plenty of time for us to accumulate more and more Bitcoin habang hindi pa nagpapump. And ito rin guys ay isang indication na wala pa tayo sa market cycle top kasi si tingnan mo wala tayong big volume coming in indicating na ito na yung market cycle top. Unlike dito sa previous movement natin, sa mga previous cycle natin nagkaroon tayo ng mga volume, same with same in here may volume. Actually, itong nangyari ngayon is halos the same with the 2014 cycle. Wala masyadong volume na naganap. So, indicating na halfway point pa lang tayo ng ating market cycle. So, what you should do now is, this is the best time to buy more and more Bitcoin. This is your last chance. Is So, the next question is, is this accurate? Sa so, ngayon, meron lang tayong two data points to tell us na ito yung magiging next market cycle bottom. If history is any indication, yung nangyaring peak ngayon ay yung isa sa best time para sa atin mag-accumulate ng more and more Bitcoin. So, this is definitely not financial advice to trade at your own risk pa din. But, yeah, 
the charts is telling us na yung nangyaring correction ay nagbibigay ng signal sa atin na ito yung best buying opportunity natin hindi lang sa short term but as a long term investment so if you want to hold bitcoin in a longer time frame this is your best opportunity to buy bitcoin and yet do know na every market cycle nagbabago ang kanyang movement it just happens na meron tayong two set of data points na talagang tumama sa ating set of trend So maybe pwede natin balikan sa future itong video, testing natin kung nangyayari nga ba talaga. But in the meantime, itong two set of data points is telling us na ito yung magiging market cycle bottom natin for the next market cycle. So if you guys like this video and if you find it informative, please give this video a like, share it to your friends, share it to your family. And if you want to see more signals and technical analysis like this, you can join our Facebook group, Telegram, Twitter, and Instagram. Link is in the description below. And if you want to see more contents like this, please give this video a like and see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.